got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here live at the Prosper Show with Scott. He is the founder of Intercultural Elements. Scott, you are based in Germany. And I want you to first talk about what you guys do. Right. Uh, in a nutshell, we help international or sellers uh, expand their sales all around the world. So a typical situation is we have an American seller who sells very well domestically, uh, but they want to go international. Well, they don't necessarily want to hire people to do that, so we do all of that for them. I'm sure everyone wants to expand, right? So why did you start the company? Right, well, I can't take credit all alone, right? So myself, uh, Edward, uh, a Dutch uh, uh, co-founder of mine, uh, and also my wife, Anya, uh, who's German. Actually, um, I should mention Edward is Dutch. Uh, actually, sorry, should, I, should can we do this again? No, go ahead. Just uh, really? it. Okay, we cut it we'll cut it. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, let me, uh, I'll, I'll redo that. Okay, cool. So I can't take all the credit myself. Um, I'm only one of three co-founders. Uh, so my wife, who's German, and a co-founder, Edward, who's Dutch. The three of us founded it. And uh, the original idea was that we saw that there were so many possibilities of expanding abroad. Right? A lot of listing tools allow you to do that. Uh, but what we found was there's no real vehicle to allow you to take all those highways to all those places. And that's exactly what Intercultural Elements uh, tries to do. So how did you end up in Germany? Uh, my wife, as I mentioned, is German, so uh, love carried me. I knew it was a woman was involved. It's, it's always the case, isn't it? So talk about a uh, big su customer success story. What's a favorite customer success story that you have? Right, okay. Well, we have a, a UK seller who uh, was doing pretty well domestically, but they couldn't really get off the island, so to say. Uh, so with that person, we basically expanded them to uh, all of mainland Europe first, and they had a lot of challenges. Um, they sold linens. And uh, you wouldn't really think that there's a big problem in expanding abroad, but little did they know that in certain countries, bed linens were actually different sizes. And not only that, things as unassuming, absolutely, right? And then things as unassuming as the types of pillows that people use, right? Or the types of towels and how they're used in different households, completely different from country to country. Um, that's the type of thing that we help them with. And uh, that really made a difference between failure in these countries and success. And that, uh, that person has expanded really worldwide at this point. So Scott, what else should people know about intercultural elements that we haven't talked about? Good question. Uh, I think the biggest thing is really that it's uh, an A to Z solution. So most sellers, they simply want to expand abroad. They don't want to do it themselves, understandably. They haven't done it. It's a tough thing. We take care of everything, all the way from the consultation to figure out exactly where they should be going, which countries and marketplaces, to the translation, the localization. Then we take all that information and put it directly into the marketplaces. If you use a listing tool, we can do it through that as well. And then on the tail end, once they start uh, actually selling some products, we can do the customer service and even returns. So I think the one thing they should know is that we are a complete package. What's something that stops people from expanding? Because I'm sure there's a lot of things. They come to you and they're a little bit scared or there's an obstacle. What's a common thing that they're worried about or that's holding them back? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's fear of the unknown. Uh, that's what stops a lot of people from originally expanding. And then what they also find is that once they've started expanding, very often they say things like, well, okay, well, I tried expanding to Australia, but it just didn't really work for us. It's the unknown, right? They don't know that they've probably done 80% of the stuff right, but it's just that 20% that they didn't get exactly right, and that's the type of stuff that we can take a look at, right. pinpoint that, change it, and then have them off on their way. And almost, I think the one key thing is that almost everybody has lots of potential to expand everywhere. It's just knowing exactly how to do that. Right. So Scott, what's a, a milestone you're especially proud of with the business? Because you've been doing this a while now. So, 10 years. Yeah, 10 years, yeah. What's something throughout the 10 years that you think back and like, wow? Right. 
I think uh, rather recently, so right, so we've been in this for a decade now, and, um, and just recently actually we've expanded, so we have over 15 different nationalities in-house. And uh, that's a really big milestone for us because in the beginning we really start off with just a couple of cultures. But our goal has always been to help somebody expand to as many countries as they want to. And we've gotten very close to that. We still have a couple of countries to go, but, uh, but we're well on our way. So that was a big milestone for us. Where should we point people towards? Where should they go online to check out more? Right. So they can check us out at www.intercultural-elements.eu for European Union. So Scott, I always like to end on a personal note. Yeah. Okay. What's a bucket list item you have personally, whether it's something you want to do, something you want to see in your lifetime? Okay, very good question. Because um, you probably at this point traveled all over Europe, you've traveled all over the world. What's something you want to yeah. do? Okay, so on my calendar already for 2030 is going to, uh, uh, to Barcelona to see the Sagrada Familia finished. Um, I visited it when it's, it's still under construction. But uh, an amazing place, and yeah, if you ever get to go there, definitely do it. I'm just psyched to see it finished. All right, 2030. All right, live from the Prosper Show. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.